So it looks like Nintendo has finally responded to Power World. There's an ongoing controversy that Power World may or may not stole from Pokemon with copying assets, allegedly, and ripping designs, allegedly. They look similar, some do, some don't, but that's currently what's going on here and why people had this Pokemon versus Power World mentality. And they probably copied this guy too. Well, actually, it's not Nintendo, but it's the Pokemon company, which Nintendo owns around a third of them. So here's the official statement. I can't read this. Let's read the English statement. All right. Inquiries regarding other companies' games. I wonder which one. We have received many inquiries regarding another company's game release in January 2024. Wonder what that could be. We have not granted any permission for the use of Pokemon intellectual property or assets in that game. We have intended to investigate and take appropriate measures to address any acts that infringe on intellectual property rights related to the Pokemon. We will continue to cherish and nurture each and every Pokemon and its world and work to bring the world together through Pokemon in the future. The Pokemon Company. A lot of people are shocked that Pokemon even said something. I mean, they should just ignore it and let it die out, right? Well, it's kind of hard for this game to die out since it is the second most played game ever on Steam with 1.85 million people playing at the same time. And as of recording this, five days after Power World has released, it sold 8 million copies on Steam, and that's around $26 per copy. That, that's around 2 hundred million dollars. Can't really sit by and watch this die out when this game sold more copies in its first week than Pokemon Legends Arceus. So it's a pretty big deal. Not much was said here. They only had two sentences and the first one was an intro and the last one was the outro. The first one saying that we make Pokemon and no one else can use our assets. So we make Pokemon. Don't get that confused. And the second sentence saying that we will look into this. The classic Elon Musk looking into this tweet. I mean, this game is out. This game didn't just spawn in five days ago. This game had a trailer that released in 2021. And that was a big trailer. That was Pokemon with guns. They had to know of that. If there was any real legal issue, they would have shut that down before the game released. Maybe weeks, months after the trailer came out in 2021. However, Nintendo and everyone else was expecting this game to release to little to no coverage because it just looks like a ripoff of Pokemon. Then it ended up being the biggest thing ever. If they acted before the game came out, it would have gone big. And they didn't act at all, and now it's huge. It's selling faster than Pokemon games. So I feel like Nintendo is just saying something like, hey, we know it exists. That's not us. Stop asking us. If there were any real legal movement on this, Nintendo would not be saying anything anything. Pokemon will not be saying anything. They would just be quiet and have the lawyers do the work. This statement to me reads like, hey, we can't do anything. So just so you guys know, that game isn't us and no one else can make a game like Pokemon that isn't us. Even this four sentence statement is making the game more popular because now all the headlines, including this video, are going to be like Pokemon responds to Power World or Nintendo responds to Power World. I mean, they really want to minimize what they say here, and I guess it's the best thing they can do is just to say minimal things like we know it exists, and we're looking into infringing rights. There's one more thing I wanted to know, and that's about Microsoft. We all know this game is on Game Pass, right? Like, everyone's buying it on Steam. Eight million copies have been sold, yet it's free on Game Pass. Anyway, Microsoft made a deal with Power World to get this game onto Game Pass. I highly, highly suspect that Microsoft approached Power World and said, look, we know this game looks like Pokemon. We want our lawyers, our copyright lawyers, to look through your game and your assets to confirm to us that you didn't steal anything. Then we'll sign you a deal because we don't want Nintendo up in our business because we don't want to fight that. And I don't know if this matters, but Nintendo of America in Seattle is right next to Microsoft in Seattle. In fact, it's a five minute walk from Nintendo of America to this Microsoft building. It's a four minute drive from Nintendo of America to Microsoft headquarters. They're right next to each other. I assume they talk a lot and I assume it's very awkward. Side note, since the Nintendo of America building in Seattle is a five minute walk from the Microsoft headquarters in Seattle, this Survive Together campaign of crossplay of Xbox One and the Switch in Minecraft probably happened because Phil Spencer took a five minute walk away from his office and walked into Nintendo and said, look. Back on topic, I suspect that Microsoft had their lawyers look through Power World and make sure that it is A-OK -okay to represent a game like this because they kind of are representing it when it's not on the PlayStation or the Switch and the only console it's on is the Xbox and it's on Game Pass. 
But ultimately, at the end of the day, it matters what you think. So comment. No, I'm just kidding. It matters what the lawyers think. It matters what the judges think. And if Nintendo wants to do anything with it, it doesn't look like it. But doesn't matter what the judge thinks. What do you think? <laughs> I mean, what do you guys think will happen within the next few months or so? I don't think anything will happen. We might get like a weird tweet to promote the next Pokemon game that reads in a weird specific way, but we're not going to get anything real. I just think this is it. And that's where we're at. Also, if Nintendo does fight this in the court of law, and if they lose, it sets the floodgates open for many more people to make Pokemon games because it's like, wow, if Power World can fight this lawsuit and win, we'll just make our own Pokemon game. To be fair though, there's Pokemon ripoffs left and right every single day on the App Store and other random websites, and those don't kick off because those are not good games. This is the first game that has Pokemon stuff in it that copied Pokemon. That's good. And it's really hard to make a good game. Anyways, thank you for watching. I make other gaming analytical videos like this, gaming news type videos. I make videos and shorts. So if you're into that, subscribe. I also stream right here. So like and subscribe, and I'll see you later.